Welcome to Priscilla's Kitchen. You're tuning in for the first time, please subscribe. So listen, today's one of those days that you really, really like, like you're hungry for something, but certain members of your family don't want it. And you're like, okay, what am I going to do to strike a balance? Because as a parent, you don't want to divide your home, right? But you want to make sure everybody gets satis uh, satisfaction from meals that are served. Listen, this is strictly for me. And that's because my kids don't want fish, let alone mackerel. Mackerel is full of uh, omega-3, super good uh, 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 seafood or fish to eat. They don't want it, so I'm fine. But for my spices, let's get to it. I'm showcasing my Priscilla Seafood Seasoning. It's all on my website. I need you to get in there and grab one because it's the maker and breaker of this particular sauce I'm making, okay? But even more than anything, when I really, really, really miss home, I get down to my Nigerian, uh, my heritage uh, foods. You see what I'm saying? I'm hungry for mackerel made in Italy. This is mackerel. It's two mackerels that I've cut into four, four sticks. So I have total of eight. I have lime juice. Why lime? Acidity in fish makes it better for me. All right. Salt to taste for sure. Then I have palm oil. The things that really make it dies onions. This is a combination of tomatoes and red bell pepper already blended. Okay. So then I have uh, uh, garlic. I have here. This is fermented castor oil. That's another ethnic uh, component of this dish. I don't cook a lot with Maggi, so if you know me, you know I don't cook with Maggi a lot. But this is one I really want to cook with. No, already measured on my Priscilla's uh, a seafood seasoning. Let me tell you, you can't skimp on these flavors. And I've already told you, no dull, bland food in my kitchen. Not happening. I have ginger. I'm going to just grate it in as I cook it. Then I have crawfish, about three tablespoons here. All right? I think I've given you a rundown of all of that. So here's how we're going to do it. First is to make my base of sauce. And I've always said, if you're going to make any sauce or stew, make sure that you make the base, make that sauce, taste it. Be sure that is the flavor you want before you add your protein that you're putting in. Because what you want is for your protein to take on the, uh, the flavorful base that you've already trusted. All right? Come on, let's get cooking. Into this, I'm already preheating my pan to medium heat. So then I'm going to add this palm oil in here. There is no bleaching in this, okay? We're not bleaching. So then I'm going to add that onions right quick. All I'm looking is to slightly saute that uh, 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 palm oil. So I don't know if I told you about this. This is uh, obviously habanero. That's why my kids can't even eat this because this is going to be hot. I'm not using all of this, but I'm going to be using at least two tablespoons. This, thing ha this sauce here has to be spicy. Boom. Here we go. So then I'm gonna stir. Into that I'm adding my crawfish. Basically I'm adding almost all ingredients. And I'm gonna add my Priscilla's uh, seafood seasoning. Don't worry about the smoke. I'm gonna make sure you see it eventually. All right? So then I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna add the uh, fermented castor you see it in here. Ooh, the funky smell of that fermented uh, 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 castor oil seeds, amazing. Now I'm gonna add my tomato. <coughs> there you go, there you go. Don't worry, we're gonna be deglazing this with a whole lot of water. Then I'm gonna add it in here. All right, this is when I add my, that's about like a one and a half cup of water to deglaze my pan. So then I'm going to add garlic. And hey, you know I like garlic, right? One heaping tablespoon. But I don't want it to overtake the fermented flavors of the castor oil, uh, castor oil seed. Okay? I told you I buy my garlic whole and then I blend them, wash and sanitize that container and put it right back in. Add some oil. It lasts for a long time. Here you go. So then I'm going to add that lime juice lime juice y'all if you don't have lime you can get lemon it doesn't matter but you need a level of acidity if you don't even have lime lemon put a little bit of um red wine vinegar or any vinegar will do okay so here's the thing so then i'm gonna add say about one and a half teaspoon all right so here's the deal i'm going to then 
most important, I'm going to check for seasoning. Mm. At this point, I'm not seeking to um, over salt because you see, it's gonna go low and slow and cook. So a good flavor to eat, I love it. It's exactly what I want. So here we go. Then I'm gonna add my fish. I'm nestling it in. And then voila, I'm going to cover. I'm gonna first of all move all these things and then I'll bring you closer so you can see the inside, okay? So look at this, I have basil and thyme. These two here, I will cut them off. I, I plant them and I'm always, I always cook with fresh herbs. So I will be taking some of that and drop it in my sauce. Okay, but not now, because I don't want it to cook out. Here we go. You see that? Is this easy? I'm not even bothering to touch it because when it boil, it will cover and soak up all of that. So I'm just gonna cover this up and let it go for a very good 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, We'll then add our thyme and basil, check for seasoning. There's nothing more that needs to be added here except if we need to adjust uh, seasoning. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Like, click, and share. Please like, share, and subscribe. Oh my y'all. I said it before. 10 minutes later. There you go. Now I'm gonna reduce my heat and I'm gonna check for seasoning. Ooh delicious so there's a reason why i'm adding my um there's a reason why i'm adding ginger now i like to bite into ginger it's optional if you want to if you want to be cooking with the other ones it's completely up to you but this is my own and then here we go i talked about thyme and basil if i were in nigeria i would be using uh scent leaf so i'm going to add this here this is thyme so I'm adding them in their sprig. That's because I want all the flavor. You get more there. So I'm going to use this for garnish when we are done. Okay, this for garnish. But I've added thyme. Look, I'm adding the stem because I want it to smell and season this food. Here's another thing. When I checked for seasoning, I need a little bit more pepper. As you know, the kids are not eating, so it's mine. This is not going to be your typical, um, very red or whatever. I'm not looking for that. The presence of the castor oil, fermented castor oil, will make it a little darker, right? Regardless that it has to, um, tomato. Here's the thing I want you also to be aware of. I use basically just three tomatoes, but four bell peppers. Three tomatoes, four bell peppers. You say, you call it tatashi at home, right? So four whole tatashis and three tomatoes because the goal is not about making it thick. It's about having a sauce that simply replicates my growing up. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna just let this cook for another five minutes. This is what I'm hungry for. It takes me home and I will show you the finishing one, all right? See you in five minutes. Please subscribe, share, like. Make sure you tag your friends and family. Let them see my uh, mackerel sauce, my way. All right, I'll see you in five minutes. Here you go, five minutes later, do you see that? If you shake it, you get, it's slightly soupy. You see that? That's what I want. Can I just tell you, this will go perfectly well with rice. It will go with Gary as, as a bear girl or reverse girl. I love my Gary. Um, I don't have access to cassava. Obviously it's been 20 years, I have not even seen that then. All right, here we go. So it's like this double purpose uh, sauce. I can use it on rice. I can even eat it as is. So it's a little tangy because of the presence of uh, lime. Love this, love this. Hmm? Let me check. This is how we taste for seasoning. Can you see that? Ooh, delicious. I will drop uh, more of this uh, uh, basil leaves as garnish. But even then, it kind of accentuates the flavor of a basil. If you're home, please use scent leaf. Thank you for watching. Make sure to make this. Here you go. My rice cooking and ready to go. Can you see that? Rice ready. 
sometimes or once in a while re listen when you really really feel like eating something even if the people around you don't like it make it yours you gotta take care of you too right because if you watch very well on this end here you go i hope you can see let me show you on this end i'm making my family favorite right that thing has hen this is gonna stew this is going to stew for very good uh 45 minutes for that hen to be cooked and their stew to be ready that's what they want this is what i want delicious see you next time in priscilla's kitchen subscribe like and share